everyone. Thanks for hanging out. I am taking a look at my new harp that arrived today. So let's get, let's take a good look at it and uh, then I'll play it for you. So this is the new beast. This is the new Salvi Rainbow SG. Um, so let's take a little look around. So if you're here, you can see what I'm seeing. All right. This finish is iridescent and it changes color depending on what angle you look at it from. Down here on the front, there are, can you see, inputs right there for a, it's a stereo and mono versus, and also two different outputs. So, we're going to take a look at this thing. Isn't this lovely? Absolutely stunning. I am kind of in love with it. So, Let's see. Oh, and there's one more cool thing I want to show you before I go and play it. Sorry if I'm giving you vertigo. And ooh, look at that column. That's lovely. I was also going to do kind of a side-by-side -side comparison with my Venus and talk about how they are different and are they different. This is going to be fun. I love my living room right now. But what I wanted to show you is inside the harp. So if you can see let me get a better light there we go so you can see there are MIDI inputs all the way up and down the harp so each string has an individual pickup on it now on this harp there are only four and you can see kind of what one of them looks like there just like a little stick on piezo pickup and there's only four this guy has 47 on this harp, so you can see how it is a little bit different where the strings come out the soundboard. They've got kind of this little piece, uh, metal piece there that acts as the pickup, as opposed to this guy who has uh, nylon buttons there that hold the strings in place and the piezos are on the back. So that being said, let's crack into this and see what we got. <clears throat> Okay, so when I think about putting a harp through its paces, what shall I do? Hmm. I want to check for tone and I want to check for string placement. I want to see what does this B sound like. Uh, so let's do something nice and resonant and uh, see where it takes us. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some Pink Floyd. I think because this piece that I'm picking has a lot of big resonant chords so we can hear the depth of tone and also has um, some pretty fast moving finger work so I want to see what that sounds like too especially in the bass register now I haven't plugged this into anything so it doesn't have any effects on it right now so for you guys. I'm just saying. That's love right there. Alright. So here it comes with Venus. Now I 
like the tone of this harp, and uh, it certainly has earned its tone after the life on the road that we've had together. So here comes some of that. bigger voice, this harp to me sounds crisper, and just as, the voice is just as large, but it's crisp, it's not mellow like that. So now I want to plug this harp in to my Bose S1, and I have a preamp, I have never had a preamp before on a harp, so I have to remember to turn it on. Okay. <laughs> On. Okay, we should be cooking with gas. So I'm going to play the same thing just through the bows, and you can hear the, acoustic, the uh, digital signal and what that sounds like. Absolutely make it public. Let me, uh, huh. Or I can do it after I, I think I can make it public after I, huh. Oh, here we go. There we go. Make that public. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit. In more into this, so I have some, I have a pedal over here that is a multi-effects pedal. So I was playing with that earlier, and I have some delay I'm going to throw on that. And we can play with some delay and see what that sounds like. This is neat. And I've got it set at a pretty medium, like a medium level of delay. I'm going to use the, uh, the echo setting. It's got a analog echo and tape setting on this particular pedal, so. <clears throat> Thank you. 
problem I had with this guy, especially when I would do like really big bass heavy things, it would not amplify well, um, or it would cause distortion or feedback because there was just so much vibration, ambient vibration happening with the harp. So with this, I, I was kind of focusing on the bass on that to kind of show what can happen with that. Let me try the distortion out and see how the auditory isolation does with the distortion. This will be fun. Okay, so far I like it. It feels good. The strings on this feel like they might have like slightly less tension than my Venus, maybe just a little bit. I'm gonna move you a little bit closer to me so we can see each other a little bit better. Or mostly so I can read the comments because I'm blind. Isn't that neat? Okay, so I'm actually gonna slow down the delay or a little, uh, increase the time on the delay and try this again with kind of like a, a more mellow tune to see how the echo goes. So let's see how this goes. I'm loving this, by the way. This is a lot of fun. It is the new harp. I'm very, very excited. It is the Salvi SG um, Rainbow. And this is a semi grand, but I got the extended soundboard option that usually, can you see, comes with the concert grand. So you can see it's got a lot wider of a soundboard. My, uh, my Venus has the same thing. Um, also, this guy has 47 strings, which is the same number as a concert grand. It's just on a slightly smaller body frame, which if you have to haul it around for gigs, it's kind of nice. And uh, because I'm gonna be using it uh, electrified most of the time, it really doesn't matter if it has a slightly smaller body. If I need a big, old sounding wooden harp. I have one. I have an amazing Venus I can go play anytime I want to. So here is some distortion. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. Well, let's see what we've got next. We've got some overdrive. All right, let's see what happens with the overdrive. What shall we use overdrive on? Hmm. <laughs> How about... Thank you for hanging out, guys. This is a lot of fun. Let's see. Ooh, I'm going to try some overdrive on an original tune. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit because it does not need to be this loud. It's kind of pointing right at me. So I'm going to have it not be quite so aggressive. But for those of you that are just joining, um, this is my new harp. It's super exciting. And um, one of the things that I'm doing now is enjoying that it has different individual pickups on each string so that my bass does not get muddy, especially so I can apply effects to it. Um, that is something that I was not able to do on my Venus, so this is kind of new territory for me, and I'm having a lot of fun. So here is the overdrive. I thought I would try it on my tune Phoenix and see how it goes. <clears throat> not very much. I want I want the hot overdrive. Okay. <laughs> I'm still learning what all these buttons and switches do, so this is a new one for me. I just have this one multi-effects pedal, and I'm, I'm entering the fray. So... Thank you. 
in love with the sound of this harp. It's very crisp and clean, and I'm digging the overdrive with it. That is super, super cool. Very neat. And also just touching it, it feels very well made. Uh, this is made out of Italian spruce, a uh, red spruce, and it's got kind of like a lacquer enamel iridescent finish on it. Uh, this is brass, all the action is brass, and it came with a new set of gut and uh, wire strings, and they sound fantastic. Um, they were detensioned for shipping, so I've spent most of the afternoon trying to get it to be in tune and cooperate with me. I think it's been tuned like eight times, and it's still... Eh. I have to play it a little bit more before I can play it tomorrow night. Uh, Don and I are playing down at full circle, and if I want it to stay in tune for a whole set, <laughs> I need to make sure that it's tensioned up. So let me see. I want to do, when I think about putting an instrument through its paces, this is the tune that comes to mind. So we'll see what happens. This is a very exciting day for me. I've been looking forward to this for almost two years. It, not quite two years, but it really feels like two years. It was only supposed to be like a year and some change, but it's been a lot longer than that. So I feel weird about like eating on this harp, <laughs> but may as well do it now and get used to it. effect on it right now. Should I put an effect on it? Let me do just a little bit of reverb, a delay. I'm going to do an analog, just a short, short delay, just a little bit, just a little bit and see how that goes.
super cool. Anyway, thank you for hanging out. Um, I will try to think of some other things to say about this instrument, but so far I am really, really pleased with it. I'm really enjoying um, using all the effects and hearing the separation of that. I think it's really cool. Let me think of one more to do to kind of put it through its paces a little bit. Huh. How about All right, here is a Nina Simone tune that I like, uh, Love Me or Leave Me and Let Me Be Lonely. She and I have the same birthday this month, and this is an early birthday present to me, so happy birthday, Miss Simone. And I am not going to put any effects on this because this is a Baroque piece, and it, I don't think it has room for an effect. I think it might sound a little weird. So. I guess I am a bit of a purist on some things. Also, I'm trying to figure out what a good height for this harp is, because it's actually a little bit shorter than my Venus. And so I was trying to use a different height stool, so I guess we will figure out what the correct height will be.
absolutely in love with this thing and I cannot wait to come play it for you. Like I said, I'm going to be down at Full Circle Bookstore tomorrow evening from 7 to 9 with Don Hecker on the bass. You should come check us out. We will rock your socks off. And honestly, this thing is going to look good next to that black electric stand up. I have to say, we're going to be, we got some good looking instruments and we're going to play them for you. So we see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day.